My baby Dragonzilla in the bath. He's shedding his skin right now. I don't think if you can see it. I don't see no skin in the water though. But yeah, he's he's a juvenile. Uh, let's let's see this journey from him being a baby, well, juvenile all the way into an adult. So follow the journey of Zilla and G. Coming soon. Look at him. He just he's active. Well, he looking. You see him. This is a good way to hydrate them, you know, possibly give them a little bit of exercise so they can move around. Oh, yeah, you see some of the skin came off his shed, so that's good. That's helping it. It loosens up the shed. The water helps the, the loose shed come off easier. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just get them out of the tank or enclosure, whichever, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, let them soak in here for about at least a good 10 to 20 minutes. Sometimes I do it for 30 minutes. I'm not going to lie. Other people say only do it for 15 minutes or 20 minutes. But me personally, I wait until the water gets a little cold and then I pour it out. I take him out and then I put more warm water in it. And the best way to tell like if your water is too hot is if it's too hot to touch if it's too hot to touch your hand, then it's going to be too hot for your dragon. And then another good way to tell that you have a good temperature is always getting you one of these babies right here. Temperature gun. Infrared temperature gun. Just hold it. Point at it. It'll shine, it'll shine the uh, a laser at the area where you want it to be pointed at. Look at it moving around. But yeah. Get an infrared laser temperature gun. You can use that to check the temperature. Um, I like to just take my hand and sprinkle water on top of them like this, as you see. He just sits there with his eyes closed. Like, you know, bearded dragons are mainly calm. They just be chilling. Like, I've always wanted one. I've been wanting one for like at least two years. But now I finally got one. So, yeah, look at him just going. I'll have a feeding video coming soon. But yeah, this is a good way to keep them hydrated because bearded dragons don't naturally go to the water and drink it. Like if you put a water bowl in the in their enclosure, you have to kind of like stir it, like shake the water up to let them know that, okay, this is the water and that, that, that is there in that spot. But me personally, I don't keep water in his enclosure anymore because that raises the humidity level and you don't want your humidity level to be over 50 is the max that you can get for a breeder dragon but you want it to be really like 30 percent you know 25 percent around that range because that's around the desert humidity level that you want it to be or percentage that you will want it to be at because uh you don't want it to be tropical this is a desert animal so you want it to be low humidity not high and having water in the enclosure will make the humidity go up instead of down so having no water made it go down Cause when I first got them, I had water in it and its humidity was at like 55%. And then I took the water out and then like that same day it dropped down to like 40%. And then the next uh, two days after that it was at 30%. So now I, I don't even keep water in it. I try to put them in a bath each day in water like this to keep them hydrated. Just sprinkle water on them, you know, let them get some exercise, let them move around. And also like every time he goes to the bathroom, I always put them in the uh, tub. See, like this right here. This was from earlier today, I'm sure, because it looks all dry. But this is poop that was on his his uh, basking spot for when he's up, on, up under his UVB light. So I'm going to have to scrub that. And I also have this reptile cleaner. This Eco Clean. Cleaner concentrate. All you do is just, you know, follow the directions. But me, I just personally did like maybe 10 drops. And then I also have this, which is good for their poop because it, it can still carry some type of parasites or disease. So this is good to make sure you kill all of it. So what I do is I probably do like 10 
drops of this, 10 drops of this, Eco Clean, 10 drops of each, and I put it in here, and then I fill it up with water, shake it up, see, I still got a little bit left, but yeah, it works pretty good, and it's healthy, it's all natural, so this is good to have to clean out your tank with, um, if you want to just do like a simple everyday clean, this is what you use just to like spot clean or wipe clean. And then this is for when you want to like really do like heavy duty and like really do like a deep clean. This is what this is for. But mainly, I just put them both together and it works pretty good. You know, it's, it's natural either way it goes, so it's not going to harm your dragon. But I mean, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, but hey, that's up to you. So... Yeah, he's been fine since I've been using it, no problem. So, so yeah, I would say in, invest into this. This is not this is really not that expensive. It's only about probably like, I think it would cost me about eight dollars altogether or sixteen dollars, and that's plus shipping. So that's not a, that's not bad. But yeah, it's natural, so you should use that to clean out your bearded dragon tank or enclosure and whatever else that's inside of it that you want to clean see like now the water's kind of cold so i'm going to take them out put new water in and then put them back in so as you pick up a bearded dragon you don't want to go like this you don't want to go like that like he's not doing anything because you know i mess with him every day now but you want to go from up under like this like this sorry buddy and you want to make sure you you support their legs See, he trying to jump out the bowl. But, you see, he's good. On my hand, he's good. Then now, I'm going to empty out the water. One second. Oh yeah, let them warm back up with the nice warm water. Excuse the dishes, don't worry about it. This, don't worry about it. Yes, I put the water in it, but you know, once you wash your dishes, you're fine. They have, they hold a little bit of bacteria, like salmonella, like chicken salmonella, but as long as you're cleaning your stuff properly, you're fine. But yeah, this is my bearded dragon, Zilla. Like Godzilla, but it's not Godzilla, it's just Zilla. Zilla Blackbeard Hardison. And yep, this is this is my little dude. I had him since April 20th. He's gotten a little bit bigger. His belly's starting to get bigger. I've been giving him wax worms like every day now because I want him to beef up. But eventually, once he's out of the wax worms, I'm not going to order some for a while. I have some dubia roaches, but I haven't really uh, fed him any since the first day I got him. I, uh, I have about 100 of them from beardedragon.co. And I put him inside and I let him eat him. He probably ate about 30, 30 uh, dubia roaches at one time. And the rest, I just I just keep them. To, hopefully, they can breed and multiply, but I'm not going to rush it. See how it goes. But, yep, this is my bearded dragon. Zilla the Blackbeard Hardison. That's his name. And this is him. Look at him looking at the camera. It's like the dog version of a lizard or the lizard version of a dog i mean yeah pretty cool 